Hey all of you, hope you guys are great. So in the last video, we have successfully tested whether the token exists or not, okay? So a user can get into our API, they can log into our API on the base of a token, okay? So if they provide the token, they will have the access. If they don't provide the token, they will not have the access, okay? In this video, we're going to focus on the verification part, okay? So whatever the token they are providing, that token is valid or not okay so that's the thing we're going to cover in this video okay so this is where we left in the last video you can see this is the part we're going to cover and this is what we have covered so far so we have done with the login and this is the productive route and all these functionality we have written okay we have taken the tokens header all of these things we have done in the last video okay so let's start verifying the token okay so i'm going to take a i'm going to use this jwt okay jwt verify okay and this verify function i'm getting from the jwp token okay so again just follow along with me and in that i have to pass couple of data okay i have to pass the token which a user is providing and i have to pass the secret key and the secret key i have inside this my environment variable okay so that's what i have i have to store it as a variable decode it and it's a async function so i have to say oh wait and what i'm going to do is I, i'm dealing with the promises okay so i'm going to import one more thing okay so this will call let's say promiseify and this is coming from the utils okay so you don't need to install any package it's an inbuilt package of express and node node modules okay so you can simply import it so it's called it's called util okay and that's what we're going to call it here and we're going to write this entire thing inside the function okay so that's what we have here okay now what i want i want to simply console log of this decoded and let's try to have a look and if i come here on the postman okay i got an update i'll do later so simply dismiss and let's come here and get nft okay so here i'm sending the turning of the header so user can't get access okay it will throw an error so let me show you if i do this here you can see i got this failed message this is what we have covered in the last video okay so you are not logged into this to get access okay so that's what we have here the error message now let me on the authorization and let's send the request and boom here i am getting an error message why so where this error is coming from instead of object okay so static course is 500 and this is the entire call stack the error message i'm getting so there is some problem let's come here in the login and let's try to log in with this and here i have the token simply grab this token come back to the get all nft and simply replace this token okay replace this token with this one simply delete this and paste the token we have simply copy okay and now hit the request okay still we are getting the same error means that we have some bug in our code so let's come here and here i have found that we have a problem here okay so if i comment this if i make a request you can see i'll get all the data but we have a problem here okay so instead of this we have to wrap this jwt verify okay it separately okay put this in bracket and this is how we have to pass the data okay okay not the secret key only the jwp verify function and this will work fine save it and now it will work fine so let's come back to the postman and hit a request and boom here you can see we got the entire information okay so this is working fine we can easily able to use this jwp verified func jwt verified functions and we are verifying the token and the secret key and on the logs you can see this is what we get as a decoded data so we have the id and we have the starting date and the expiry date which we have defined in our secret key okay and that's the entire data we are getting here so we're going to utilize this data to verify that okay so you can see we have the id and the exact id you will find here as well so you can see this is the exact id we have 6e and this expiry and starting day so that's working fine let's come here and if i simply come here and go to this login and copy simply copy this entire token open up your browser and type jwpt and let's try to decode this string we have got okay so this is the same website which we have used before okay i'm going to simply paste that entire one and here you will find the decoded data so we have the header we have the payload in that payload we have the exact id we have the expiry and start date and we have the signature okay and that we have the secret key and the data if i try to manipulate this token okay because this is the thing you have to keep in mind some will send you the valid token but they will do a little bit manipulation in that okay so if a user can manipulate this instead of 
a they have written two okay so if i simply copy this and try to send that back to get access into our api it will throw an error okay so let's come here get back to get all nft and i'm going to simply remove with this tempter or temper one okay simply paste that and hit the request and you can see our validator is working fine invalid signature this is the message we have got means someone temper this token okay so they can't get access to our api so it's working fine okay invalid signature and here you can find the status code and the error name is jw web token error okay if we try to paste the original one and try to hit a request you can see we got the entire data so it's working fine no problem we have so this is working fine so no one can temper and get access into our api so this function is working fine let's come here and go back to the error control and here we have to handle that error okay and here you can see there we are handling all the errors so we have the cast error we have the eleven thousand error we have the validation error because okay so here we're going to catch that error as well okay so what we can do we have to write a if statement and the error name we have is this so which is the error name simply copy and paste here j json web token error okay and here we're going to create a function say error and the function name we're going to call it handle um, handle jwt error and in that we have to pass the error object okay so that's the function we have to create and it will pass the error okay so i hope you guys haven't forgot very simple logic we have to do here okay so let's create the function very quickly and by mistake i have imported this so simply delete this one i don't need this one and let's create the function okay so const and we're going to paste it error and let's type the function we'll say new app error and we have to pass the entire error message invalid token please log in again and we have to pass the error status 401 okay so this is the function which can throw this error message okay so hope this makes sense to all of you guys we are not doing anything new here we are following the same old school pattern and things are looking fine to me so right now we are in the let's stop the application from running and let's start the production on okay because this message will only display in production not in the development because in development we'll get the entire call stack of the error okay so let's run the production and hit enter okay wow wow what let's come back to the package json file and say start product i'll just type product okay remove this one this part only start and now it looks good bring the terminal up clear your terminal and restart the production mode and here you can see we are in the production mode everything's working fine no more error we have our database connected and now if i send the request you will see that the message i will get okay so let me temper this and here you can see i got the valid message invalid token please log in again means this token is no longer valid if i come here and in the logs you can see let me go to the development and here you can able to find the entire call stack error call stack and if i make a request you can see i'll get the entire error message so everything's working fine if i simply copy the entire token the right token for this user i'll get the data okay so simply remove this make sure to have only one space not more space and you can see we got all the data because our token is valid now so this function is also working we can easily able to grab the error message and we can display back to the user okay so we are done with the token okay whether the token exists or not we are done with the token verification let's come here and stop the application and start the production mode and let's see things are looking fine to me no more error we have here so here we are in our dot env file and you can see the expiry date is 50 days okay so when this date gets expire okay the token gets expired we have to catch that error as well okay and display to the user okay so for showing you let me do one thing let me simply remove it and let's type five millisecond okay very little time so this is the expiry time of the token and now we're going to simply create a user okay save it and come here and so here we are in login simply come here and try to log in one again here you got the token simply grab the token and try to paste here and then try to access it okay so if i paste here and try to send the request try to access the data and you can see here we got the message that something went wrong okay means our token is got expired because we have set minimum five millisecond okay and this error is coming from here okay if you come back to the terminal you can see the entire data we are getting everything is working fine 
if you go to this error controller and here we have to handle that error as well okay so let's bring this down and now we have to write one more if statement to deal with this so if i come here and here you can see this is the error message which is deploying okay because right now we are in the production mode okay not in development and this is the error message we are sending and that's what we are receiving here okay so let me show you that what error we get okay so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply come here you can see this is the message we have here and now i'll simply hmm, let's do one thing uh, we can do one thing we can simply console log out the entire error okay so do console dot log error only error not errors so remove this error okay so if i try to make a request you will see that i'll get this okay so this is what i have here but here you can see in the terminal i get the error okay so i got the name of the error token expired error message and the expired it yet and the code and the error status okay so things are looking fine simply copy this name and that's what we're going to trigger here okay so we have to write a if statement we'll say error dot name is equal to token spire error error and now we have to create this function handle jwpt expire error and in that we have to pass the entire error okay so that's the if statement and now we have to create this function so let's come up here and that's what we're going to do here error and we have to simply throw the error message so app error we have to say your token got expired please login again and here we have to pass the static code 401 okay so this is how we are handling the error now if we simply send the request you can see this is the error message we got back okay your token got expired please log in again so we have successfully dealt with this expired token as well and that looks pretty fine to me if you simply copy and if you come here things are looking good to me no more error we are having things are looking fine okay so that looks good this is the function we have what we can do we are actually we are not using this error okay so we can simply remove that so let's come here and we can remove this from here as well and from here as well and here as well we have so simply remove it from here as well because we are not using this error if you want to display the status code or the error name you can but i'm not going to do that okay so that looks pretty fine to me no more error we have and let's bring this back okay let's bring this back 50 days so it's also working fine hope you guys are getting excited let's try one more time login and let's try to test this out okay this time it will work fine click on paste the token and hit the login and here we got the data entire nfts okay so this is how you can check whether the token is provided it's verified or not whether the token expiry date got expired or not okay so these are the two check we have did in our valid token verification token okay so hope this makes sense to all of you guys okay that's the only thing i want to cover about this token verification so we have learned two important concepts one we are focusing on the expiration of the token okay whether the token is expired or not and the other one is we are checking that if someone's temper the token data okay so they have provided the exact token but they have did a little bit changes in that removing one number or adding something else okay so we are verifying the token as well so hope these things make sense to all of you with that let's move to the next video